Y'all know what type of reacts we got now. Drug task force refuses to give up during chase. What the fuck? Oh, hell. Hope it ain't no crazy shit, man. If y'all watching on the tube, bro, y'all let them know what to do, man. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, bro. And if you watching, bro, you got to goddamn turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time TJ Smokes and Reacts drop a fried reaction on the goddamn YouTube gang. We on the road to 1K, bro. We at 441 subscribers as I'm speaking right now, making this reaction right here. We going crazy. We was just at 320, like, a day ago. 400. We just hit 400. Now we at 441. Shout, shout out to Atlanta. That's Atlanta for for for, for the win. Let's get it. Y'all make sure I go ahead and tune in. No talking. We high as a bitch. Let's go ahead and get into it. April 7th, 2023, officers from the Bay County Sheriff's Office in Florida attempt to arrest an individual alongside their Special Investigations Division. Mm. Reports indicate he was suspected of trafficking large amounts of Schedule One narcotics. Officials block an intersection in anticipation of the approaching suspect. At first, it appears their plan works as the suspect is now stuck in traffic. Officers then make a move to box the suspect in. Say you ain't finna break my window, bitch. That bitch took off. Speeds are about 90 miles an hour southbound, 77. For Officers anticipated the suspect fleeing and came prepared. Just minutes down the road, a stop stick deployment was set up and ready to go. The stop stick deployment was successful, striking at least three tires of the suspect's vehicle. Shit. 5-2-D unmarked, so y'all can back off, allow the two uh, marked units to uh, have a primer. I got the good flight, 50 miles an hour, they contact with him and advise them, uh, the, the Bailey pursuits off the rest. Just south of Grassy Point on 77, vehicles slowing down, coming to a stop, approximately 25, 30 miles an hour. Just down, passing the traffic, the traffic, the traffic, the traffic, the What the fuck? <laughs> they must not be trying to get away. Can't be. You got, oh yeah, that tire they gone. Tire. They keep circling around. Over the next couple of minutes, the suspect continues to drive at speeds between 15 and 20 miles per hour and loses another tire. Taking his slow speeds into consideration, officials give officers the okay to physically block the suspect in. In your team, if y'all are training technical blocking, you're authorized for technical blocking. Long day crash speeds are 15 miles an hour. I'm on you, Just have a rainbow on marks. No contact, but you just swerve in her lane. 
know it's over with. Look at all that. Oh, you see the blue. It's over with. Where'd it go, buddy? Where'd it go? Intersection of Junior and Lakehurst. North Carolina, North Carolina Lakehurst. And towards the damn road. He's lost three tires, some traffic, uh, approaching the damn road now. The fuck? You steal what, bro? He's found on the damn road. It's heading towards Kingsley. We're oncoming lane, approximately 15 miles an hour, light traffic. He's in the bush, oncoming traffic, still passing the people. Five two, can we get a pit? Yeah, that other tire fell off. Thirty three, all units. The pit is not authorized. Twenty six. Coming up to Kingswood now is in the center. Almost hit that marked patrol vehicle. Was it intentional or not? Man, he better have that shit on him. Before he swerved. We are 15 miles an hour approaching Kingswood now. Guys, yeah, he was over there at the beach. That's probably where he's trying to get to. Be a one way. 1026. Brad, do you want to call it? 10 9, I didn't catch it. It's loud here. You want to call it? Talk to me and see what you guys do. 87, I'll call it. We're at 13 miles per hour. He's on the same way. Jealous, coming past the bus. Stop him right now! I'm in the primary spot. Almost hit one of the SIB guys. I can push him with no damage. They're saying yes. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me this old lad man just took y'all on the goddamn lab pursuit and y'all brain no fucking way. This old ass man to my son. And then he telling y'all his legs disabled. Not his legs disabled after the goddamn car and goddamn. You feel me? Like, bro, what, bro? Not ever like I'm telling you, bro. Once you get behind, bro, I'm telling you, once 12 get behind there, I'm telling you. 
now you just so somehow got a goddamn medical condition. Like how, bro? How, bro? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, really? Got it right, man. Silent. Anything you say, do you can't. We'll be just get your court law. Right? Speak to attorney for advice and have him or her present with you during question if you wish. You understand? You understand? I guess so. You hurt? Yes, sir. Where are you hurt at? Sit him up. Come on. Where are you hurt at? My chest. Why's your chest hurting? You got any heart problems? Yes. Yeah, the first Yeah, I wasn't leaning against that hot wheel. Yeah, that's probably not very smart. Yeah. You off that hot tire? How much depth do you think you find this car? Huh? How much you think? About nine. Nine zips. A zip is a slang term for an ounce of drugs, so the officer is suggesting there are nine ounces of drugs in the car. However, based on the context of the officer's responses, it seems the out of earshot suspect allegedly said he ran because he was driving on a revoked license. Get all, Ain't that, no way. Get all that for a license. Okay. The officers continue to search for the suspected drugs for roughly 45 minutes and find some noteworthy discoveries. You got a manufacturer paraphernalia. Yep. There's meth in it. Taser, taser in the door. He ain't got a license. No license. Fleeing and eluding with disregard. Oh, yeah. What officers are failing to find the suspected drugs? Oh, count of three. One, two, three. All right. Walk around. You good? I got bad, bad huh? legs. I got bad legs, too. Okay. We're going to have you sit down in front of this patrol truck, okay? That way you don't stand on your leg. Rex, you got a good license? No. He says that's why he ran. Shit. If you ain't got no dope, why'd the dog alert on the car back there at the stop? Officers begin searching underneath the car to see if anything is stashed away in a hidden compartment. Did you see that spray foam up in there? Oh, yeah. Oh. Check his pockets good? I don't think anybody did yet. I don't think he's going to fit, you know, yeah. kind of dope in his pockets. You know. Could have ate it all. Yeah, you could have. That's all right. I've sent f***ers to prison for 10 years just on fleeing. He's acting like he knows he's going to fucking prison. You ran awful hard for a bad license. All right, Rex. We're going to stand you up again, and then we're going to walk over here to my truck, and then I'm going to patch you down make sure you ain't got enough drugs, on you. Do you have anything on you that poke me, stick me, stab me, or get you in trouble at jail? Perfect. Uh, you shouldn't? Yeah. That wasn't what I asked. It's a simple yes or no. I don't think I do. No? Okay. Oh. Go ahead and put your feet a little bit farther apart for me, Rex. No, but we don't get to know each other, okay? You wearing any underwear? No? I can tell. You're having a handful of butt cheeks, bro. Is that just a joke there, bro? Yeah. You sure? Oh. You got something in his pants? Can't quite tell. My dick, he's peachy. He grabbed my dick for a that long. Oh, yeah, they no. got it. They no. look no. too hard, too hard bro. They feed it. I'm questioning it, bro. Nuts don't feel squishy. Nuts oh. are pretty solid. Yeah. Why is in his drawer is squishy? Lean back on the truck, Rex. Right? Did you notice? I'll every put you time on the ground, you bro. Were messing with him, he was doing this. Yeah. I don't have a nuts over here. All good? They checking tires and shit, but they just they trying to bust bread down. All right, you ain't got nothing in your f***ing drawers, bro. I ain't got nothing in the Pull that up I ain't, I ain't yeah. wearing no underwear. I know. Yeah. Your drawers can be considered your pants, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He looking in, bro, pants. pants. Nothing tucked. Nope, nothing tucked. All right. Ain't gonna catch your junk, Tyler. I'll take you to McDonald's and tell us where it's at. I hate McDonald's. I'm a psychological expert, but a normal person would have said I ain't got where can I take you for you to tell me where it's at? Search for one I'm fitting right to your phone is going to tell a different story. Because we don't just randomly pull people over. We're going to go back and find wherever you threw it. We're going to go back to Heather's house. We're going to kick her door in. We're going to keep going until we get it. Just the way that it is. Now, listen to me. You don't know who I am, but by the time we get done with this, you're never going to forget my name. If you want to play that game. He ain't lying either. You won't. Trust me. I think he yeah, she only did. I don't okay. think he ate all of it. Like but there ain't no fucking way he's sweating but that it, damn bad. The city's been bringing in some killing people, so if he would've ate it, bro. 
The footage fails to show officers finding any drugs on scene, despite their efforts to get the suspect to confess. However, according to reports, officers did eventually find over 1 pound and 13 ounces, or over 800 grams of methamphetamines later on. They also found $2,200 in some marijuana. News reports indicate officers found those items in his vehicle. Court records indicate Rex yeah, faced drug-related and driving infraction charges Why dating all the way back. Right now. Count talk. Back to 1988, when Rex was 25 years old. He also faced previous charges for grand theft auto, shooting into buildings, fleeing law enforcement officers, damn, and reckless Rex. driving. For this case, Rex was charged with one count of trafficking more than 200 grams of methamphetamine, one count of high-speed reckless fleeing, one count of possessing more than 20 grams of marijuana, one count of possession of a concealed weapon as a felon, one count of knowingly driving with a suspended license, one count of they possession of drug paraphernalia, shit. three counts of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, one count of tampering with physical evidence, one count of fleeing with a disregard for safety, one count of resisting without violence, and one count of possession of a firearm as a felon. Where was the that last charge man? came to be after officers obtained a narcotic search warrant at his home. They oh. found a 22 caliber revolver that his wife admitted was his. Oh, Through the court system, true. most of his charges were consolidated, and in January of 2024, he ultimately pled guilty to one count of trafficking more than 200 grams of methamphetamine and one count of high-speed reckless fleeing. For his meth possession, he was sentenced 20 years in prison. He was also ordered to pay over $250,000 in fines for this charge. For his reckless fleeing charge, he was sentenced 15 years, but his charges would run concurrently, making his full sentence 20 years. He started with 271 days of credit. In Florida, 85% of a prison sentence must be served in prison. With this information, he likely will not get out of prison until mid-2040, when he is roughly 75 years old. Elsewhere in the same county, another officer attempted to pull a vehicle over after noticing their license plate light was malfunctioning. When the officer initiated the stop, instinct told him that the driver was about to speed off. So you know the unit, I think they're about to flee. Black male driver is fleeing, going north, uh, Louisiana, past 11. His instincts were correct. The suspect fled across a driveway, driving over a patch of grass. However, the suspect wouldn't get very far. It would be less than 20 seconds before the officer recounted the surprising event he just witnessed to dispatch. He crashed at Louisiana, flipped over, car slipped over. Oh, Hands! 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 Oh, shit. Hands! Hands! Oh, fucking tears! Family, he flipped. He's inside the car. I got him at gunpoint. Hands! Show me your hands! My hands are here. Show me your hands. Get out of the fucking car. Man, I don't know. Get out of the Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Please don't shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. Roll out. I'm rolling out. Roll out. Man, what the fuck? All the way out. right? Crawl out. You see my hands, right? I see your hands, but I'm not gonna shoot you. Just crawl out. Man. <laughs> Sorry, my radio flipped. He's, He's crawling out of the man, car. What the man, fuck? Like, you know, get a ride. Motherfuckers jumped out. Nobody jumped out. You were driving. Let's stop. Get out. We're not driving this vehicle. You were just in the driver. Get out of the car. Man, two people, please pull me out. I really don't want to hurt nobody. Give me your hands. I don't want to hurt anyone. I got money flying away. Hold on, some money. Hold on, some money. Please, bro. I don't know what the f is going on, man. Stand up. Y'all, please stand me up. He know what's going on. Please pick my pants up. 619. Oh, f man. 54. You've been drinking, bro. I see a bud light. I've been drinking. That makes sense. I've been drinking, but the motherfucker in the car with me. There's nobody in the car. There's nobody in the car with you, bro. Are you for real? Yeah, you're the only driver I've seen it. Nothing on me but money, bro. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from my people's house, bro. Right around the corner. You got dope on you? No. You just open the car? No. You got all the money, Well, not that I should know of. Think if I had a dope out of all this money on me? Probably. 
Uh, yeah, we're we're going to get you checked out by an ambulance, okay? Come on, man. Sit him in my car for now. The first officer on scene did not read him his Miranda rights. However, it is likely that another officer fulfilled this requirement as the suspect was escorted off camera and out of earshot. Informing a suspect of their Miranda rights is extremely important to the judicial process. When officers fail to read a suspect their uh. rights, any information they gather from questioning a suspect becomes inadmissible in court. Uh, Doors open. Okay. Sorry. As long as you didn't pursue it. No, I didn't pursue him. He, he hit his car a little bit. I guess he took this turn and uh. Oh. Sorry, bro. Car <laughs> move. I didn't want to get out. I didn't know. Is this his house? No. Can you scratch us on the jar? Yeah. Took that tree out? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get this driver checked out. Bro, I was not the... Wow. All right, let's, let's start this way. What's your, what's your name? Xavier. Hold on. Driver? What's, what's your name? What's your, what's your birthday? Xavier. What's your birthday? Xavier. 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 Crawl all the way out of the passenger You were in the driver's seat. I crawled out of the passenger seat. Oh, shit. Unbelievable. Man. Really? Oh, <laughs> I guess we don't really need fire anymore. I thought he was going to be in trap, but I was able to get him out. God damn it. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, man. No, really in the package. I said I wasn't going to do any more police work. That's why I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Why the car flip? I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's, dr he's drunk. He's drunk? Yeah, yeah he's for sure oh. drunk. I'm definitely be drinking. You been drinking? Yes. I think I would do some stupid shit. Oh, I wasn't mind. driving. And hey, Marina, just don't ask him any questions. He's got warrants. For child support? He got two warrants. Child support and what else? I'm always curious why they don't stop. Uh, That's why I you know he got a warrant yeah. for child support, man. You why the fuck check him out real quick? child support? Because he's to get him out. He's uh, intoxicated. Yeah. Are you hurting anywhere? Damn. He's got 48s. No license. Did chase him, bro? I didn't chase him. So what happened? I was gonna pull him over. He pulled into he pulled into the driveway over there. He made a right turn, pulled across someone's driveway like this, went south on Louisiana, right, blacked out, and and flipped out right over here. So he just went straight and flipped out. Yeah, he he flipped. Uh, uh, he so must have hit the curb. The turn. Yeah, he must have missed the turn. Damn. Stump is what got him. Whew. Yeah, that's probably where he got. Is there any dope? I love He's got a load of money. Yeah, I think we should probably wait for the car to flip, right? To search it? Yeah. You see all that money? He's, yeah, got, he's, he's got a lot more in his pocket. He's signal one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and he has 48. Let's work that. I'm not going to get him out of, out of handcuffs and run through field sobriety. He can blow if you want to or not. Well, how, 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 do you, how can you articulate his signal one? I know, I'm not challenging you. I'm like, how are you going to articulate it? We're, we're not, we're not going to remove him handcuffs after. I, after that's this. not what I'm asking. Yeah. Relax. Okay. If you were to charge him and they, he refused to do FSC, how do you know he's drunk? Would you be able to articulate that he's intoxicated? Yeah, of course. He told me he does. He told me this. <laughs> There's a beer right there. If you talk to him, you smell. There's no alcohol coming from his person. I told but he's going he, he to He's going to go to the hospital and get cleared. Of course. Before we go to the jail. Yeah. What? Is this the ambulance? All right, you're gonna go to the hospital, get checked out before we go to jail. Hey, you, you uh, you, you want to blow into the machine for you check, check your blood alcohol? I know I'm drunk. Okay. Are you gonna blow or no? I mean, I know I'm drunk. Okay. I wasn't driving, so yeah, I blow, but I know I'm drunk. I've been drinking for the past few days. I know I'm drunk. Okay. Man. Oh, man. Let's go to bed. Get, get him to the hospital. Let's go to bed. Come like, on, boy, get in. You, you gotta go in there. Yeah, put his hands in front. Uh, I don't have no weapons or anything. It's gonna be a lot of money. Get an envelope for all this. Yeah. Do you have an envelope? 40 is our confirmed out of the county. Why would we do that? One is FDA. It's holding out bond. The other is child support. Do you realize that you can't hold out behind the bed? I do. Free to go? Yeah, it has everything to do with what I got on me. Yeah, it has everything to do with what you got on me. Well, why can't you count what I got on me in front of a camera? We're all seeing what I got on We're all on camera. Hey, you got that? Oh, I got gloves on me. Get the bag. Yeah, it's weed. Oh, there's a dollar bill right there. Yeah, just put. No. Count my money in front of me. 
How about you chill? You don't get to make the man. I make the man. He's selling some weed. Why can't you count my money before you put it in the bag? Everything's on camera, dude. We're not going to count this. Why you can't count it on camera? Because I'm not going to count it on camera. You hear me? You see me? Well, I don't care. There's more. I don't care. I don't care. Why can't you count my money on camera before you put it in the bag? Alright, let's get him in the Other side, other side. As the officer mentioned, Xavier did have multiple warrants out, and with that, he showed an extensive criminal history with past charges including trafficking fentanyl, possessing and selling or delivering a Schedule II substance, grand theft, motor theft, driving while under the influence, the possession and manufacturing of cocaine, battery, and maintaining a drug house, among others. His serious criminal records go back to 2004, when he was just 19 years old. For this case, Xavier specifically faced one count of aggravated high-speed reckless fleeing, one count of delivering or distributing cocaine, one okay. count of possessing less than 20 grams of marijuana, one count of possession of drug paraphernalia, one count of driving under the influence and causing damage to people or property, one count of reckless driving and causing damage to people or property, one count of driving without a valid driver's license, and one count of refusing to take a blood alcohol test. Roughly a month after the event, he entered a plea of not guilty on all charges. Oh, after 14 months, Xavier stayed locked up in jail, awaiting a trial. Then in March of 2023 changed his plea to nolo contendere, meaning he won't admit guilt to the charges, but he agreed to be sentenced as if he were guilty. For every charge, the court adjudicated a guilty verdict. For most of his charges, he was sentenced one year in prison. For his high-speed reckless fleeing and cocaine charges, he was sentenced to prison for three years and ten months. Damn. All of his charges run concurrently, meaning he would serve them simultaneously. He was also granted 454 days of jail jail credit, making his total sentence roughly two years and seven months. He also had to forfeit all items seized and got his driver's license suspended for five years. Based on this information, his prison sentence is set to end in October of 2025. He'll be getting out next year. Around that time. Oh, dear.